Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. The new highly anticipated roguelike is here, Cult of the Lamb. This is a roguelike from Devolver Digital that people have been talking about for a long time now and I've been really excited to jump into it. It seems like a perfect blend between a bunch of different roguelikes and it seems like it might be one of the next big roguelikes so let's jump in. I don't really know anything about this game. I didn't play the demo. I've watched very little gameplay. I just want to jump in and see what it's like. I might tweak the volume as we go. Anyways, let's see what's going on with this. Praise the Lamb Conduit to the Great Power Promised. Take heed, for the crown cannot sit upon two brows. Interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll tweak the volume a little bit. Seems like we might need it. Oh, we are, uh, we are bound. Yeah, let's quickly go in and just turn that down to like 35. There you go. Maybe we'll um, turn down the uh, the voiceover a little bit and music a little bit as well. There you go. But yeah, we are bound. And one of the great things about this game, as you can clearly see already, is just this visual style. It's just so interesting and distinct. The sort of 2.5D, it just looks so good. Okay, these guys are going to follow us to the edge of that bridge there. A game by Massive Monster. Ooh, I'm so excited. Like I said, I've been hyped for this game for a while. Obviously published by Devolver Digital as well. Which, usually they put out bangers. They, they, they pretty consistently. Okay, we got four what look like gods here. Or something along those lines. Kneel to be sacrificed. Four stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blaze. With the final sacrifice, the prophe prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old fear shall be preserved. They tried to cut off our head. It was not successful, apparently, and we have... Uh, Entered some sort of spectral realm. Oh wait, unless it was successful and we died. <laughs> I didn't consider that. That's actually more plausible of what's happened here. What on earth is this? Come closer. Fear not. For the for thou you already you're already dead. Okay. Those foolish bishops, they thought they could keep you from me in death. Instead, they sent you straight to me. I'll give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is you start a cull in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. And this is where we get our crown, I see. The living crown. So we were actually sacrificed and died and were revived in the name of this cultist god. That's incredible. Okay, so we got attacks. By the way, definitely still too loud. Definitely still too loud. I apologize. We'll tweak it as we go, but it might take a bit of... A bit of messing around with. That's a little bit too quiet now. <laughs> it's going to take some time. Oh, we can change the difficulty. Um, okay, let's go with hard. Hard seems appropriate. Okay, there you go. 25 seems good. Whoa, that dodge roll's great. Okay, there you go. I think we got I think we got it good now. Whoa, we can move so fast with that dodge roll. I wasn't expecting the... I wasn't expecting this game to have so much maneuverability, I'll be honest. Can we destroy, like, props and stuff? Oh, we can. Nice. And can we jump? Not yet. Unless it's going to teach us how to jump here. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even know if it is a jump. Ah, oh, okay. And then we can check between these. And it says accept. Can we, like, skip rooms? No, we can't. We have to go straight ahead. Interesting. Can we get a campfire here? Ratu, fear not. I am Ratu. I was once a chosen vessel like you. But those days are lost to the winds. Interesting. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. 
My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I'll be close by. He's just going to jump straight under there. Oh, we can put out that as well. I wonder if during the runs we can uh, utilize this, like destroying stuff, to uh, get additional loot and stuff. Whoa! The way the enemies fell into the stage there was so cool. Now, one thing I'm having trouble with is I can't tell if I've been hit yet. But I don't know if that's because it's like the tutorial. There you go. We got a chest. They gave us a coin. We got a coin. Okay, so we can just see what we've got here. Oh, so there's different outfits and abilities, apparently. Crown abilities. Nice. So here we've got the sword, a well-balanced blade dealing moderate damage. A noble garb fit for the leader of a cult provides no bonuses. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And then we can actually check up on our followers. So maybe our followers will give us different abilities. That seems really interesting. That seems really cool. Ooh, we got some new enemies here. So it seems that it just isn't a jump, which honestly is fine. I kind of, I don't know why, but I really felt it was going to be one based on how the game looks. Grab the chest. Okay, they automatically open, which is really nice. One second. Let's continue on, shall we? Okay, so yeah, I, I like the fact that the chests open automatically. More new enemies. I was, considering this seems to be a tutorial area, I was not, not expecting this many um, unique enemies. Normally it's like two enemies and that's it. So we've got three coins so far. So I'm going to guess part of this tutorial will be coming across where we end up spending this uh, this currency. I'm sure there'll be a, a shop of some kind or an NPC. Maybe it's spent in the home base. Maybe I did see that there's some like abilities to upgrade your home base and stuff. So maybe it's part of that. Okay, so we get like an indication of well when the enemies aggroed onto us. Another coin there. I'm wondering if those chests can contain other loot or if it's always going to be coins. This one we got a few coins from. There's these little birds here as well. I absolutely love the way this game looks. Whoa, this looks like a boss fight, doesn't it? Oh, this is just into the next area. Oh, this is um, this is one that's trying to be sacrificed. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, rescue them and they will have no choice but to join the new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on our sacred ground? By the way, just for those of you that are maybe new or don't know, I'm a bit dyslexic, so reading, not my forte. Dodge to avoid attack. Oh, so we got like a last minute dodge there. Nice. But I think that was just telling us that we were actually about to be hit there, so we did get hit that time around. Did, did I manage to like parry there, where I like hit his soul? Oh, and we get a second wave of enemies. That's new too. Interesting. This tutorial isn't really good. We're learning a lot. We did get hit again though. We don't seem to have any indication of how much HP we have yet. I'm sure that'll come soon though. Rescue. Oh, okay, so they just get teleported straight back to town by the looks of it. Follow away its indoctrination. Ooh, we got to indoctrin into the uh, into the cult. That's really cool. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those marks on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you'll be able to begin and your new cult. I will meet you there. Okay, so this is teleporting us to the home base. I imagine this will be like the end of each dungeon. Heretics defeated. Nice. So, oh, it tells you your time and everything. I love it when games do that. Just opens the door for speedrunning and just competition, just generally. It's so good. So here we can select our difficulty. So I'm going to go for hard. I think that this game feels like a game that, that could go well with hard. Okay, so if we want to head back out, we can go that way. But here's our town. This hollowed ground which once was mine is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to, the, to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Um, order this one to collect lumber and stone. <laughs> there they are. That's so cool. Hey, fella. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Oh, it's like I can name them. Oh, that's so cool. 
Okay, we're gonna have to get some viewers in on this and name some viewers uh, our cult followers. That would be a lot of fun. Please do leave comments down below if you want to be named as a new cult follower. And if I can rename people, I'll rename this person as, as the um, top comment and I'll choose other comments for future videos. We can choose their form as well. Oh, we can customize how they look. And we got the DLC one here, which is our little Cthulhu color. And we can choose the colors too. Oh, this is ace. And we can choose a variant. I like that one. That's really, really cool. And then traits. Okay, they have different traits. Heals 50% sh uh, slower when sick and in bed rest. And loses minus five faith when the follower dies. Okay, interesting. Then we can accept. Huzzah. Chop trees. Let, let's get you to chop trees, shall we? By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay. This has got a little more involved than I thought it would, to be honest. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so we can we gather stone here, or do we have to get him to gather stone? I'm mean, gonna guess we have to get him to gather stone. Oh, no, wait, we can get stone here from here. Nice. Get two of these stones. And then we'll get some wood as well. Because he's been a bit slow, to be honest. As happy as I am with our follower, he's a little slow. And now we can build a campfire. Oh, we can even choose where it goes. I thought it was just going to build it on the spot. Now, we can flip it and everything. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so for now, let's just build this in this corner here. I like that there. He's going to make his way over. Oh, and then we actually have to build it as well. Okay. Very nice. Your followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left. When this gets too low, followers begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Nice, and then we can cook. So for this, we need more berries still. That's really cool. Gather some more berries. Oh, I'm chopping some wood by accident, but I'll I'll take it. So I guess I could like spend a little while in this hub area, just developing this area, clearing it out from all the detritus. And I can cook all of those, I see. Ah, interesting. There's like a little meter for how efficiently we cook things as well. Now we must build a shrine, but first we'll need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found while crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them gar um, guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so they may be freed. Now go. There you shall find gold and willing recruits, and for those who will, um, will are not willing, convert them by force. Okay then. And now we can head into our first run. So I have absolutely no idea how long runs are going to be, if there's going to be any choice to that or anything along those lines. Um, I, I, I guess I could stick around and do a little bit more uh, housekeeping, but I obviously I want to get straight into the run, so let's um, let's get going, shall we? we got a few bits and bobs here, but we can come back and uh, take care of that. At the minute, this guy's doing a good job. So do, do I just leave my food on the ground here? Is Was that correct? Follow deposit resources here while you're away. Okay, nice. Yeah, I've kind of cooked these meals and left them on the floor. I feel like they may spoil. Anyways, let's head on through. I'm really ready for this. I still think it's a little bit too loud. I, I will tweak the volume in post if I need to. But... Music's like a little bit up there. Okay, so. Here we have a few different doors. This is the only one open for now. So we can open into the dark wood and that'll give us one follower. Oh, this is follower requirements, I see. So these are different areas that we can travel to. I'm imagining this one's going to be like a maximum level of followers. It's not even close to open yet. That's, that's the door that he was just talking about with the seals. This one's seven. 
And then this one down here is 12. So I'm imagining they're going to be more difficult. I want to catch the spider. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay. Let's go through to here, shall we? We can roll while we're in this area as well. Nice. Good to know. And then, ah, ha, ha. This is where this comes into play. We can activate this to uh, go through the door. I'd seen that in a few of the promotional arts and was wondering what the hell it was. Okay. So into Darkwood. And I'm imagining Darkwood runs are going to be reasonably short. I don't know. <laughs> so we have two hearts here. Darkwood. We can equip the Crusader Blade 1, um, dealing moderate damage. Nice. There it is. And then we got a few training dummies here that we can test out our skill on. And I imagine as we'll go, we'll upgrade our weapon and get a little bit more. Hey, we got some grass. Don't know if that's going to be useful, but we got some grass. <laughs> I wonder what these uh, like types of secret rooms and stuff we're going to be getting here is. I wonder what we're going to see from that. So I'm going to guess I have to roll over those bits. Okay, we got half a heart back there. I was wondering if there was going to be um, any healing. But now we actually have a choice. This is more Binding of Isaac style rather than it being linear. I was wondering if it was going to be linear or not. So far, the combat feels really fluid. It feels very responsive and it feels like like very impactful. We're getting quite a lot of money here. Well, a lot more than we got in the tutorial area, so we should be returning with a good amount. So I'm a little curious here with these bats if I want to be just wailing on them. <laughs> or if that's a bad idea. It does seem that destroying these is giving us stuff though, so while I'm not going to go painstakingly destroy every single bit of rock that we see, it's kind of a good idea to break some things here and there. Whoa, what was that? That was like a spike chest. Is that some sort of curse? Oh, so I... Oh, so I don't have to go through that, okay. So, I think I can stay within an area and like clear the area by the looks of it. Or maybe each, each path just leads to a different thing. I don't know, it's good. This, is, this is probably the best time to find out, so... Oh, four hits to kill that guy, okay. Can we push them into the fire, maybe? I pushed him I pushed him up, across the fire, it didn't seem to do too much. We got some meat there, that's good. Shall we can feed our uh, loyal subjects with that? So this looks secret roomy to me right here, but... Obviously not. I don't know how that's going to work. I, and that's going to be something we'll find out as we go along, I, I suppose. And here seems to be a shop of some sort. Clownek? Clownek? Uh, praise the Lamb, conduit to the great power, promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I have always drawn cards, Lam, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. These cards shall decide. Interesting. So we've got a lover's card, which is going to give us plus one soul heart by the looks of that there. And the death's door. When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will um, be dealt two damage. Okay, so let's take the lovers for now. Always that it should be, as if it was always, <laughs> as it always will be. And it looks like, okay, I can, I can take a little look at this and take a look at some of the other cards here. Okay, interesting. I don't want to look at all of those yet. I don't think we need to. So it definitely is worth exploring a whole floor. We 100% know that. There is an alternate route. It's it's just you get to the exit. And we, we want to be making sure we uh, check out everything that's on offer. So we can go for wood or stone. Let's go for wood this time around. Okay, I've actually got to chop that normally. I'm just hitting it with a sword, hoping for the best. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of um, a little bit of resource gathering normally as well. But that's, that's a good amount of resources there. And then, okay, so we, we definitely can't go back. And this is, this is now onto the boss area. So this is a rather small area, to be honest. 
But I, 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 I'm guessing... I'm getting the feeling that this is still technically the tutorial, so... Listen after this guy. Oh, I can roll through enemies as well. I just tested that. Oh, that's pretty cool for those enemies. I like that. I really like that. You can do some tricky little moves for those guys. Okay, we did get hit there, but only on our soul heart. I know that's probably not called a soul heart in this game, but Isaac has uh, brainwashed me. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, what's happening here? Is this the boss? Leshy. How can this be? You are put to the blade, lamb, as all, all your kind were, and yet you stand before me, unpleasant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Was he one of the things from the start? Interesting. It's called Leshy, like the, um... Oh, we got, we got a cards guy again. Receive double health when he healing. Gain an extra half a heart. I'd rather just gain an extra half a heart right now, I'll be honest. Okay. So, is that just, like, cost-free? We, we just get that. That seems kind of interesting. I love the roll. Okay, this feels like a boss. Is he back again? He is. You have come far enough, my uh, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Whoa, what the hell? Amdasea. Amdasea? Okay, this is definitely our first boss. Okay, so it's similar to our, the first enemy we fought. Obviously, definitely a pretty basic boss here. Only two attacks so far. And the um, dash seems pretty low range, too. We can kind of wail on this guy. There you go. Oh, and he turned into a, he turned into a, a follower, too. That's really cool. Please, spare me. Convert me to your cult, and I will follow your teachings faithfully. Where you go. Oh, and then we get a choice. Okay. We can take a blueprint. Let's see what blueprints are. We've not we've not seen blueprints before. Acquired pl um, farm plot sign. Organize your farm with this handy signpost. Decent. Whoa! Boss chest. That's just a hell of a lot of coins. And then we've got this door here, which is one fourth complete. And it's locked. Interesting. Heretics defeated. I love the summary. Really good. I really like that. And we've got quite a lot of different resources here for our base. We can build it up a little bit. See what's what. We got a new follower. I'm relieved to see you made it safely and you have returned and not returned alone. You have convinced um, Maul to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate the new convert um, so we may continue. Hey, little fella. Invite me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Choose form. I really like the fact that you get to choose what it looks like. I'm going to keep this guy as him. I like him like that. Um. And then he's 15% harder to level up, and on recruiting, immediately lose 10 faith. That's a bit annoying, but whatever. We'll keep this guy as is. Then we'll have him um, chopping down some stone. Cool. Followers will either work or worship. Worship followers generates devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Ah, because shrine just costs. And put that dead center. Quite a lot of our money there, but obviously we need that. 
Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower, assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Oh, so he gave us a new follower, nice. Brought one in. I'll definitely take this guy on. And this guy's got some positives, okay? Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Heals 50% slower. And on recruiting, it gains 10 faith. That's great. Um, I'll keep him as this as well. I like him as this. What a nice variety, don't we? And then we'll have him worship. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshipping uh, at your shrine, the faster they will f uh, fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it's emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. I can speak to them as well. Okay, we can just get change their commands. Interesting. So we've got like this whole unlock tree here to upgrade our base and do different things. I really like this. This is not what I was expecting at all, but I really like it. So we should unlock a temple here. Nice. We've got a temple unlocked. And then we can go with sleeping bags, which we really should get. And farming plot, we definitely want. Obviously, we need some more diversion first. And then we've got to wait for this bar to fill up before we can do that again. So we still need some more stone for that. We can go and get some stone, though. There's some here. We've got a guy going off to get some stone as well, but we'll uh, leave him for now. He can do his thing. Is that enough? Was it five? And what's that one out of one at the top as well? I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay. We'll build that there, shall we? Everyone comes to build up the uh, the temple. I wonder if we can move buildings later down the line, because I'm probably going to place them in terrible spots to start with. I really should clear out my um, my base area as well, just to make more room to uh, place everything. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons <clears throat> to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your follower. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within the temple. We, we can receive more of this here and grab. Can we not grab this yet? We don't have any divine inspiration yet, apparently. Okay, so let's let's pop in here real quick. This is cool. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the red crown. In they come. Whoa. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with higher loyalty levels will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. Ooh. Permanently gain half a heart. So the permanent progression here seems really interesting. I like that a lot. Seems like it's going to be a little tough to manage, but I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. Farmer Sermon, Drawing Energy, okay. You are amazing to, uh, to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are able to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so that they may obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek the commandant's stone fragments with these to be able to declare new doctrines. Cool. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of housekeeping to end off the episode, I think. And keep the first one a little bit shorter. Just an introduction to the game, I think. Um, yeah, we'll just do some housekeeping here and uh, get rid. But so far, my first impressions are really, really, really promising. I mean, 
I definitely get some Stardew Valley feels from um, from this specific activity that I'm doing right now. I can definitely feel the inspiration there. Um, and I don't know, the, it's it's a bit more in depth than I was expecting. Like, I, I kind of knew it had this aspect to it because I'd seen in the trailers that it had this aspect of actually growing your cult. But I didn't really expect it to be so involved. I thought it'd be quite passive. I thought it'd be like, you come home from an adventure, you spend whatever you got on the adventure, um, and then that was it. But it's 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 a lot more involved and it. it seems to be actually a big part of how you progress through the game, which I really, really like. It seems like this game's going to be, uh, I don't know, I, I, one thing I am a little worried about in the long run is how the permanent progression is going to affect the long the longevity of the game. Like, once you've got through all the permanent progression, is it going to have a lot of replay replayability replayability after that? But a lot of roguelikes always do, so I'm sure there'll be something there. We'll find out. God, you are not very good at chopping down that tree, I am, my ladder. Just keep keep chopping. I'll help you. To be fair, this 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 thing's a this thing's a beast. No wonder you were taking time. Oh god. But we'll help you out. We'll help you out. We should we should try and uh, bring in a few of the other lads on this because this is gonna take ages. But I suppose this is kind of how you make more space for new stuff. I do wonder that um, I wonder how this kind of works in terms of can we like expand the amount of space that we have. Is there ways for us to, um, to like, buy new land plots? Or is this all the space we're ever going to need? Because it seems like, uh, considering the amount of buildings we had available in that tree, that's not going to be a lot. It um, seems like it could end up being slightly difficult to fit everything in. Maybe we'll end up growing our space over time. And I guess we'll see how, um, how our adventures kind of progress too. Because I'm, I'm sure that the adventuring out and seeing what what other places and enemies and bosses and all that sort of stuff has to offer is going to expand quite a lot. So far, it seems like there's already quite a lot of variety in the game, and that's only one of the areas. So we've, we finally chopped this tree down. It took a it took a bit of a while, but we got it. Thank you, ladder. I think there's probably going to be a few of those there. Uh, those big boys. We won't, we won't do any, any other of the big boys today. We'll leave those for later. I could even do some of this off camera if it's just... If, it, you, if you guys are okay with that, clearing out some of the crap. But I want to... Just spend some time with my followers. I don't know. I, I, and also, I'm just like in love with the cute, cute Lammy animations. They're brilliant. Hey. Oh, you want something, do you? Hey. Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean it up, some of us will get sick. On sanitary conditions, um, your followers will become sick. If your follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest um, or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit and dead bodies will cause illness to spread quickly throughout your um, cult. Cleaning mess and burying bodies will prevent spread of illness. Good to know, thank you. So I'm guessing we can mine this, but yeah, that's going to take forever. We won't we bother with that for now. So right now, I, I wouldn't say that it's messy as such. There is kind of a lot about, but it's all just like rocks and twigs and stuff. That's not really mess as such, is it? I don't know. I think we're pretty much fine with that. <laughs> don't be too fussy, my dude. I've literally just started this cult. I don't really know what I'm doing. We'll get there in the end. I love little activities like this. They're so relaxing. Just going around, chip chopping some wood down. So I'm wondering what that bar at the top means. Does that mean like... Because we, we currently have three followers. So does that mean the amount of followers that we need to like a next milestone or something? But it does seem that the followers do stuff at very slow rates compared to us. But that's fine. I suppose we are... Uh, we do have a power of some sort of demon lord assisting us <laughs> with our wood chopping and so on. I really like the fact that, like, it's parts of a crumbled ruin here. Did you just leave that bush? We were so close to chopping it down. Okay, we are really close to finishing off clearing out this area. Oh, I do see a turd over there. Might need to go. Okay, so that, that's some of the dirt and stuff that they were on about. So I've got to, like, clean... Oh, okay, I've got to, like, clean this up. This is cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love little activities like this. 
I wasn't expecting this sort of stuff, but we've actually got to do some proper housekeeping. Now, I do wonder if um, nighttime holds any... Uh... Oh, we can catch spiders. <laughs> um, I do wonder if nighttime holds any particular difficulties here. I wasn't expecting a day-night cycle. We completed the quest. Wow, you did it. Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. Awesome. Okay, so now we got some more divines. So we definitely want to grab sleeping bags first here, I think. It's clearly something people need. And then body pit. Okay, so these all these early upgrades seem like things we're definitely going to need. Um, beds. So we'll probably put the beds in the corner over here. Nice. I'll build you some beds, fellas. There you go. We were just sleeping in the bushes. Nice. Does everyone have a bed now? Everyone happy? I am going to be mining some stone up right next to your head, but don't, don't worry too much about that. It seems like everyone's happy now. It's increased their faith a little bit by the looks of things. Increased their uh, their joy. <laughs> okay, we can take a look at some of the more upgrades here. Prison. Ooh, interesting. Demonic summoning circle. Scarecrow, there's some cool stuff in this. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting this sort of depth. I mean, I was expecting the game to be good, but goddamn. There's some really cool stuff. Okay, so I think we've just about cleared out everything that we need to here. Uh, I don't think we need to create any more food, really. Um, 25% chance to, of dropping valuable resources, 15% chance to follow up pooping instantly. <laughs> Okay, so we can actually make some different things now. 10% chance of causing exhaustion. 15% chance of falling poop pooping instantly. Okay, so basically what they're saying right now is, because we're not cooking things properly, we could very easily give our followers diarrhea. But we're into day two. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. The followers go about their daily tasks. Nice. Followers deposit some resources. So is there much more we can dig up here? It doesn't look like it. I'm guessing that at some point we can get rid of um, all of these shrubberies and things and just have it as open grass. But right now we can't. But everything in the st in the top left there, stats wise, looking good. Turn to land to the face. Okay. Because oh, th this guy's taking it on. He's he's going for it. So there's got a few more twigs here we can dig up. He's he's taking on the uh, the challenge. But at least we've cleared up this side. So hopefully we can put some more people on that faith there. Because we've got a few people doing resources. But we're not going to need them doing that soon really, are we? And this is why I'm th thinking there might be some expansion involved. Because otherwise we're not going to need uh, our followers digging up stuff too often. Unless the stones and trees can regenerate somewhat. Anyways, I think this is going to be a really good place to leave it off. So we'll save our game there. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, are really into this game. Because I really am and excited for it. Because... I really am. And we're going to be playing it a lot on the channel. It's not going to be an everyday series, I don't think. Or at least not after the initial few days. I might do it every day for the first few days. But it's not going to be an everyday thing. Um, but it is going to be a few times a week. So I really hope you guys are into this game because I really am. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.